all you cool crooks and killers, welcome back to True Crime Now, the number one place on the internet for your daily dose of true crime. Today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 craziest things ever used as murder weapons. Number 10, a crucifix. On Christmas Day, 2008, an 81-year-old woman was found beaten to death in her home. A bloody crucifix found at the scene was determined to be the murder weapon. This astonishingly brutal attack left the elderly woman with 15 broken ribs and also showed evidence of a sexual assault. To the shock of investigators, evidence led to the arrest of a 45-year-old female pharmacist, a neighbor of the murder victim. It was determined that she was given the crucifix as a gift from her elderly neighbor who was a devout Catholic. The woman took offense to the gift and went over to confront her neighbor. At the time of the attack, the 81-year-old was using her nebulizer to help with her lung condition. The neighbor struck her in the face with the crucifix and then began beating her for what must have been an extensive amount of time considering the vast injuries found during the autopsy. The pharmacist later confessed that she also sexually assaulted the woman after she was dead to throw off investigators. After being found guilty of the murder, the neighbor was sentenced to 20 years in prison before she will be up for parole. If you think that's crazy, just wait until you hear what else we have in our countdown. You won't believe number 1. Number 9 an Xbox 360. In 2013, a young woman in Florida was found dead in her boyfriend's home. At the crime scene, there were several bloody knives found along with a very bloody and damaged Xbox 360 scattered around the girl's body. Darius Johnson was arrested and questioned by police and later confessed to attacking his girlfriend after an argument about zodiac signs. He went on rambling about needing to make a sacrifice and began beating her repeatedly with his Xbox. When this didn't work fast enough, he went to the kitchen and grabbed three knives and started stabbing her until she finally died. Johnson was charged with first-degree murder. Number 8. A Prosthetic Leg In 2010, a homeless woman named Deborah Hewitt was convicted of murdering her boyfriend by beating him to death with her own prosthetic leg. Hewitt did not deny the allegations as she went on to describe the attack for the police. She stated that she and her boyfriend were arguing one night. After he fell asleep, she stomped on him several times with her prosthetic leg before she removed the leg and began beating him with it aggressively. When she was sure he was dead, she hid his body and police found it over six weeks later, partially decomposed. Number 7. A Banjo Way back in 1991, a 63-year-old man was accused and convicted of beating his wife to death with two banjos. When the man was asked why he needed two banjos to commit the murder, he admitted that his wife had not died by the time the first banjo was destroyed. He said that he needed to grab a second banjo to finish the job. The man and his wife had been married for 30 years and had seven children together and many grandchildren. While the man confessed to the crime, he never revealed to the authorities what prompted the attack. Number 6. A Toilet Lid in a bizarre attack, a 29-year-old woman was beaten to death by a pizza delivery man with a toilet lid. The man convicted of killing the woman actually admitted to the crime and went on to describe the brutal attack. He stated that the woman turned down his sexual advances, so he tased and raped her before going on to pummel her to death with a toilet lid. He then proceeded to wrap her in a large carpet an attempt to hide her body in a creek. The man had a long history of previous crimes, and with this murder on his record, he will be in prison for the rest of his life. We're halfway through our countdown, and these are all so bizarre. Which one is the most shocking murder weapon so far? Make sure you let us know in the comments. Now, back to the countdown. Number 5. A Bowling Ball 
In 2013, a five-year-old boy was found dead at the backyard of a neighbor's home. His mother called authorities when her son did not come home from riding his bike. He was quickly found a short distance from his home. It appeared he had been beaten to death with a 14-pound bowling ball. Police later arrested a 13-year-old boy who pleaded guilty to the crime. He said the younger boy had been annoying him and was asking to be taken to the store. He irrationally beat the 5-year-old to death before fleeing the scene. The 13-year-old was sentenced to 23 years in prison for capital murder. The murderer's name was never released in association with the crime since he was a minor at that time, but he will be in his mid-30s before he is eligible for parole. Number 4. A pair of sweatpants. While strangling someone is not necessarily the most creative method of murder, have you ever heard of anyone getting strangled to death with a pair of sweatpants? That's just what happened to 29-year-old Patricia Ann McCollum in 2006 in Jacksonville, Florida. The coroner determined the cause of death to be excessive strangulation to the point where the blood vessels in the young woman's eyes had burst. A 61-year-old man was found to be guilty of the crime after both McCollum's and his DNA were found on the murder weapon, a pair of sweatpants. The jury for this trial took less than 15 minutes to find the man guilty of murder, sentencing him to life in prison with no chance of parole. Number 3. A Spatula In 2010, a five-year-old girl in Utah was beaten to death by her own mother with a spatula and several other kitchen utensils. The coroner stated the attack was brutal and excessively long. It seemed the mother was reaching for anything she could get her hands on to continue the assault. He concluded that the mother continued to beat her young daughter long after she was already dead. The prosecutor said the attack likely went on for at least an hour and that they had never seen a more brutal attack on a child. The mother was ultimately only found guilty of child abuse homicide instead of murder due to her willingness to cooperate with authorities. Shockingly, she could have spent as little as five years in prison if her parole was approved. Number 2. A Microwave In 2007, a horrifying crime took place in Dayton, Ohio, where a woman used a microwave as a murder weapon. A 26-year-old mother was the sole caregiver for her infant child. Authorities arrived at the home when the mother called 911, stating her baby was unresponsive. Paramedics arrived on the scene to find the infant was already deceased. It was determined that the cause of death was extreme heat and internal injuries. The coroner concluded that the baby had been placed in the microwave. Since no one else was in the home, police determined the mother must have been responsible for this unspeakable crime. The young mother claims she was extremely drunk and remembers nothing from the day. We're almost to our number one pick and you won't believe this peculiar murder weapon. Let us know if you like this video and let us know if you want to see a part two. We have plenty more crazy things used as murder weapons. Now for number one. Number 1. A Jar of Pickles This bizarre murder has so many twists and turns, you may need to take notes to keep it all straight. In 2010, a 16-year-old boy was dropped off at the home of a family friend by his father. This was very common as the family friend Dwayne Hurley often took the young boy named Daniel to school. A shocked father received a frantic phone call from his son just minutes later stating that Hurley was dead. The boy's father called the police and rushed back to the home. He found his own son drenched in blood and standing over Hurley's body. An autopsy and Daniel's testimony revealed that he had smashed Hurley's head several times with a pickle jar until it broke. He then grabbed one of the larger shards of glass from the jar and stabbed Hurley 55 times until he was dead. It was later revealed that Hurley had been sexually abusing and grooming Daniel since he was 12 years old. Daniel admitted that he couldn't take it anymore and that morning, he snapped. 
After hearing the full story, the jury still convicted Daniel, a minor, of voluntary manslaughter and sentenced him to five years in jail. Fortunately, authorities found Daniel a therapy-based center where he served out his sentence to help him get the help and support he needed. Wow, there you have it. The 10 craziest things ever used as murder weapons. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get more true crime now. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, don't be afraid to sleep with the lights on.